Peace be to you all. This is Omar Abdumalik, physician associate and health educator. So tonight, I just got off from work. I'm about to go home, Lord willing, inshallah. So I want to talk about uh, how um, PA school is like the Squid Games. So since it seems like the world is talking about the uh, Netflix uh, Korean movie uh, sensation, the Squid Games. So in the Squid Games, it's a bunch of people who are in debt. So it's a high stake, um, high stakes situation, and they participate in these childhood games. Uh, but uh, <laughs> if you uh, don't make it through the games, you die. <laughs> so in, in PA school, the stakes aren't quite that high, but it's it's um, they're pretty serious. So. Um, uh, in PA school, in the beginning, I think we started our class with about 35 students. And as we progressed, it dropped down because people dropped out. Some people flunked out. Some people were kicked out. Um, so we did not start with as many as we... Um, we did not end um, uh, with as many as, um, as many students as we started out with. So... Um, that's, that's, I could kind of relate to that on the, uh, with the Squid Games. Um, you don't want to be one of the people that are eliminated. So the way to do this is to have a strategy. And one of the things that I saw in the Squid Games, um, yes, I watched the Squid Games. <laughs> I uh, kind of fast forwarded to the, uh, the, the, um, some of the more racy parts. But um, um, you want to have a strategy. And um, you also want to um, um, do things like pace yourself and um, don't be underhanded. Unfortunately, uh, when I was a, a professor at PA school, there were instances of cheating. So students got kicked out. Um, there were students, there were instances of students um, undermining other, their classmates' um, projects and, and progress, which I could never understand because, you know, it's better to try to help each other. You know, you, you, um, you never know when you might uh, need one of your classmates' help. I mean, somebody else, one person might be really good in something like clinical chemistry, uh, but they might be really poor on, you know, a rotation. And you can, you can help each other. And that's what, that's what I found came in handy with me. Uh, so, uh, you know, we kind of saw this if you, if you uh, saw this Squid Games. People um, uh, formed teams and try to work together <laughs> but the ultimate goal was that only I think only one person could win but um try to if you get into PA school if you're fortunate enough inshallah try to work with your classmates try to have a um a very good um, um strategy strategy <laughs> when you um when you get into PA school be disciplined in your studies try to um become um uh, a master of your your own time as far as um, management is time management is concerned and um, just keep your priorities and uh, keep your your goals in, in sight so that's it for now I want to put squid games in my titles so just to see how many <laughs> views I get okay uh, so that's it for now if you guys are planning any of you that are viewers who are planning on applying to PA school or our NPA school, or our new graduates, and you want some advice, please feel free to reach out to me. I've been a PA for 20 years now. I currently work as a hospitalist PA. I did outpatient for 15 years. I'm an erstwhile professor. I was uh, on um, um, admissions committees. So I've, I've done quite a bit in the uh, past 20 years. It's been a great, a great career. And I've had some really great jobs. And it might work for you. It's the number one... Uh, job in the U.S. according to U.S. News and World Report um, 2021. Okay, that's it for now. Take care. Peace.